Yeah, I'm happy, especially after yesterday. Yesterday's final was, uh, I think, really dangerous, not safe. But uh, I spoke to the organization yesterday evening, and they promised me today they would make a safe final 5K, and they succeeded. So, uh, yeah, like this, it's nice to be here and race, and uh, I'm happy I could win. How do you feel during the entire race? I mean, it was really hot, really. The weather was, was it good for you? Was it a problem, or how do you feel? Well, uh, I'm from the Netherlands, where it's actually snowing right now, so uh, I'm not that good in the heat, but I can cope with it and deal with it. It was very warm. I think we're drinking around 1.5 liters an hour, so that's three bottles. Um, yeah, you have to deal with it. Uh, we've got a strong team, a super lead out. Fabio uh, Michael and uh, Peter and... Uh, and Jan did a great job together Vencedor controlling the race and en la I think I've got uh, one of the fastest lead outs maybe ever in my team which is Remco, Yves and uh, Morkov so I'm really proud of those guys also. Was it Remco like the key for this maybe? Yeah for sure without them I can never win so I really need my teammates uh, they dropped me off in the perfect sprint position and uh, it was just a close battle with Fernando you know, he's won many races here in San Juan, so uh, he's obviously the man to beat, and I'm happy that I could win. Ahí lo tenemos, el mano a mano, último 100 metros, Fernando Gaviria del Movistar y Fabio Jacobsen. Ahí ambos sprintando, ahí golpe de riñón y la victoria se la lleva Fabio Jacobsen. Ahí tenemos el photo finish que gana. Fabia Colsen por media rueda, nada más a Fernando Gaviria en la etapa 2 de la vuelta a San Juan. Y por acá tenemos las posiciones. Aquí están en primer lugar entonces Fabio Jacobsen. En segundo lugar para Fernando Gaviria, el colombiano, que se metió segundo. Tercero para John Averasturi. Y cuarto por ahí podemos ver a San Bennett. Así es, este es el orden de llegada de la etapa número 2 de la vuelta a San Juan, que tuvo tremendo sprint. Fernando Gaviria vino desde atrás, desde atrás. Y cuando quiso llegar adelante, creo que ya había quedado sin piernas el colombiano, pero le alcanzó. Y por poquito, por muy poco, se lleva la victoria en el día de hoy. Ha ganado Fabio Jacobsen. Así que el colombiano, bueno, espero que lo siga intentando para que se encuentre con el triunfo. Ya que está estrenando escuadra, está en el conjunto del Movistar Team. Así es. Y también, ya saben, tuvimos la entrevista aquí del ganador Fabio Jacobsen.